Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's July 21st, 2023. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, let's take a quick look at the stock market as we highlight five of the largest trading stocks right now within the industry. As of this recording, BP is actually trading at a daily volume of 32,920 stocks. Chevron Core is trading at a daily volume of 3,906. Waste Management, as of this recording, is trading at a daily volume of 1,028 stocks. Clean Energy Core is currently at 904 stocks in its daily volume, and Dominion Energy is currently trading at a volume of 674 daily. And sticking with big money for a second, on the news side of things, Heritage Crystal Clean Incorporated, a leading provider of both hazardous and non-hazardous waste services, oil re-refining, antifreeze recycling, and other services, has entered into a definitive merger agreement to be acquired by an affiliate of J.F. Lehman & Company, one of America's leading private equity investment firms, for approximately $1.2 billion. Under the terms of the merger agreement, Lehman & Co. will acquire all the outstanding shares of Crystal Clean for $45.50 per share. The purchase price represents a premium of approximately 24.9% to Crystal Clean's 60-day volume weighted average price as of July 19, 2023, the last full trading day prior to the announcement. Brian Riccato, Crystal Clean's president and CEO, said, quote, We are pleased to enter into this agreement with J.F. Lehman & Company, which we believe represents the best path forward for Crystal Clean to maximize value to our shareholders. For more than 20 years, we have executed on our mission and thoughtfully grown Crystal Clean to become the partner of choice nationwide for premier environmentally sustainable solutions that have a tangible impact for customers, and we are excited to embark on this new chapter, end quote. And speaking of strong market value, according to a new report from Wood McKenzie entitled North American Renewable Natural Gas State of the Market, the number of RNG projects has doubled in the last five years, and 66 future projects were announced in 2022. In total, the North American market size currently sits at 385 cubic feet per day, with states like Texas, California, and Pennsylvania leading the way. Activity has been spurred by recent mandates and incentives aimed at lowering greenhouse gas emissions, most notably through investment tax credits in the Inflation Reduction Act for RNG development and low-carbon fuel programs in the EPA's Renewable Fuel Standard Program. Natalia Patterson, a senior research analyst with Wood McKinsey, said, quote, RNG has become more popular as it can have five times lower carbon intensity than natural gas projects and helps reduce emissions considerably when used for transportation fuel. More than half of RNG production is estimated to be consumed as fuel for natural gas vehicles. Wood McKenzie is currently projecting explosive growth for the industry over the next couple decades as it projects that by 2050, the North American market size will balloon to 4 billion cubic feet per day. And speaking of billions, Denali, the nation's leading full-service organic recycling company, announced several milestones in their newly released 2022 ESG report. According to the report, the company recycled and processed more than 1.4 billion pounds of food waste into compost, animal feed, energy, and fertilizer, with more than 2.6 billion pounds recycled since 2021. Denali has helped partners to collectively save more than 500,000 metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions in the past two years. Based on the U.S. EPA's calculation tools, this is equivalent to keeping approximately 100,000 cars off the road or providing electricity to more than 60,000 homes for a full year. In addition to food waste, the report also claims Denali recycles more than 10 billion pounds of materials from food processing facilities and wastewater treatment plants annually, with the company also converting used cooking oil into about 8 million gallons of biodiesel last year. 
Denali CEO Todd Mathis said, quote, sustainability remains central to who we are. Denali continues to demonstrate that innovative, sustainable solutions can be cost-effective and efficient for customers from commercial businesses to public municipalities, end quote. And just a reminder that Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, a nationwide leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Waste management in Texas just opened a brand new $35 million renewable natural gas facility at the company's EcoVista landfill south of Arbor Acres Avenue in Springdale. The RNG will be estimated to avoid up to approximately 40,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions per year. Randy Beck, the head of Waste Management's Renewable Energy Group, said construction of the facility created over 125 jobs and the facility will initially employ four people who are on operations 24 hours a day on call seven days a week. Waste Management plans about 20 additional RNG projects and intends to spend about $1.2 billion on renewable energy projects between 2022 and 2026. Beck said, quote, the size of that little facility can provide enough gas to power a town. I think that's pretty amazing. My job is all about finding beneficial uses of landfill gas. My goal is to find beneficial uses for 65% of the gas we produce at our landfills in the U.S. and Canada. By 2030, I'd like for that to be 90%. End quote. Now in the far northwest... The University of Washington may have just created a revolutionary new bioplastic that degrades in the same time frame as a banana peel. Researchers used heat and pressure to make bioplastics from powdered blue-green cyanobacteria cells, otherwise known as spirulina. The university said their bioplastics have mechanical properties that are comparable to single-use petroleum-derived plastics. Senior author of the project, L.F. Theria Ramelli, said, quote, We were motivated to create bioplastics that are both bio-derived and biodegradable in our backyards, while also being processable, scalable, and recyclable, end quote. Spirulina was chosen to be used in the new bioplastics because of its ability to sequester carbon dioxide as cells grow, which makes the biomass a carbon-neutral feedstock for plastics. Another member of the project, Harish Ayer, said, quote, When exposed to fire, it instantly self-extinguishes, unlike many traditional plastics that either combust or melt. This fire-resistant characteristic makes spirulina-based plastics advantageous for applications where traditional plastics may not be suitable due to their flammability, end quote. And lastly, a new recycling and energy program just launched in Minnesota's Ramsey and Washington counties, which uses AI technology. The Ramsey Washington Recycling and Energy Center is in its pilot phase in one of the nation's largest co-collection food scraps initiatives. With state investments, the program has rolled out to about 10% of its residents to participate in food scrap and recyclable technology. The facility uses an AI robot to sort the food scraps from the recyclable material on a line system. The program stated this could potentially recover 60,000 tons of materials that would either have gone to landfills or be incinerated each year. In comparison, the facility said this would be enough to fill a lion's field three times over each year. The AI robots are still working to surpass their goal of 94% to phase out from being a pilot program. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for July 21st, 2023, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and I will see you back next Friday for another Recyclist. Thank you. <laughs>